Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mara Molena. I'm Ayako, and it is here with me to watch me suffer as usual. Yo. And in the episode we did something very important, which is to get like 700 gold or something. So we're going to get that thing we need. You know, the, the thing with the thing. You know what thing, right? Yeah, the thing! That does the thing! Yeah, exactly. And which I mean, of course, the lamp of time. things we still need to, we need one. There's quite a lot of things we can do with that actually. But one of them is right here actually. I think I was supposed to use it when he was... Uh, while he was using it. Oh well, only, to find out. only we lost a lot of progress. For beating him without using the lamp of, lamp of time, but this, this is the expected way. Right. anymore, which means he's dead. I countered your, your Zawada with my own Zawada! Yeah, basically. Also, remember this place? It's kind of exactly the same, like the one on the opposite side, huh? This one has a pedestal, huh? And the sick level. More witches on this side. Of course it does. Whoops. Alright, I need to go to the other side first, but oh well. We have better things to do than try to get completely fucking squished by this boss. Oh, 
So let's go get our lamp of time back. You know, while we're in the area. Perhaps. Uh, oh yeah, 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 what is up, huh? Alright, time to go on to the Tower of the Goddess. What time is Skeleton? I'm actually trying to go down. <laughs> Dozens of times he knocks you down, and the one time he doesn't. Yeah. Guess I could have just used the elevator. That place is still not really usable. Here's the real question. Mm -hmm. Who built this place like this where you have to sit there and parkour through uh, pipelines and ships to get around? Um, if I remember correctly, the race that flies. Hmm. The second children, I think. Anyway. Details. Have to time that to time that very well, because you know you can't just press it while. Mm -hmm. And we get this now, miracle witch. I remember exactly one combination with uh, with that game. I'm gonna disable my Kiri Master for a moment. I mean, me, disable Mirai. Actually, no. That's the one for teleporting. Um, why is that good? <laughs> I could master. Right. So this allows, allows us to do something really useful. It allows us to decide which fairy shows up. Huh. That particular combination is for the key fairy. Go figure, right? <laughs> So, since we already know we actually unlocked it last time, we're going to go straight here. Clothes. They even show up in the profile. Huh. These dots have been infused with fairy power. Cost the damage the professor receives in half. Hmm. Might be sort of useful. useful. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> I think the Temple of Moonlight was a good place to recover the. areas do you have yet to go, or have you found them all in the uh, we're missing a couple. Jesus. Because you've already found, like, the Temple of Ruin, the Temple of the Goddess, and the Gate of Illusion, all of which have a strong end-game vibe. I mean, if you see, if you pay attention, there's, what, nine places here? And we've only seen six of the backside. Hmm. Which means there's probably three more places. Please. Well, three more places we don't have a... a Teleporter port. Yeah. Because we've seen at least two of those. We have actually seen two of those three. The... Uh, 
Shrine of the Mother and the Chamber of Earth. We've been there, we just haven't gotten to the teleport. Right. For, you know, reasons. Either way, we can actually do the, the last puzzle in the Gate of Illusion now. I just need to remember which of the many, many aces went to that. Weren't you studying maps earlier just for this? Maybe. And you forgot it all already. Look, there's a lot of things we still have to get, and I wasn't entirely sure which ones I wanted to go until we got here. Maybe you can actually open this way now. Nope. Guess not. Hmm. Pretty sure that was from the Tower of the Goddess. It's just that, you know, Tower of the Goddess leads to a lot of places. Just, just shut up. Oh. I don't have time for your bullshit. Oh, I guess that was technically another place to get the time of time. Oh well. There was actually still one more thing we could do here. We haven't gone to this exit. Oh no, it's the Chamber of Weird, but from another direction. Hmm. It was not accidentally used the Lamp of Time. 60% translated. I actually wanted to read that. The cycle continues. The mother destroys the ill-favored child and gives birth to a new child. She repeats this until her wish is granted. That's not ominous at all. Oh, not at all. I mean, we already know we're the eight generations. So... Oh look, a closed bronze mirror thingy. Stupid ninja! <sighs> that thing like does like over half your HP by the way. The giant sword, I mean. Mm. The one in which they got who sustains the world points. There lies a bright light within the darkness. A bright light that will obliterate the darkness. Can get either of those yet? Can I read this? Thou shall not make it with thine power. Accurate. I'm not screenshotting in that because it's for the same room. Does this do anything? Money's money. Money. Stay stone. Wee. Stumble. Don't let me stumble. You're not even gonna bother staying in that one. Strike the wedge, distort the mother's slumber. Only then shall the shrine of the mother show its true form. Ominous. Hmm. Speaking of ominous. Hmm. You don't say. Oh no! Press that. Okay, could have made a whole show about it, but... But you didn't. Woman statue. Hmm. We've heard a few... Different clues related to that one. Let's keep exploring for now. Hey, did we come here, you know, looking for our father or some shit? Yeah, something like that. That we got thing. 
Vishnu, the head of Asura, with a weapon like a ring of light. Oh yeah, that, uh, remember that that other area in, the, in this region where I need to aim the, sh the chakram precisely so it bounces back? Not exactly. Uh, well, that, that was supposed to be the clue for them. <laughs> anyway, don't hit that giant mirror. Remember when I said that we that we normally see this one first? <laughs> Palenque slumbers is inside the mirror with him. I'm gonna switch weapons so I don't accidentally hit the mirror. That's a good idea. This stone is one part of the mirror. Chamber of Extinction! Oh yeah, boy! Yeah, remember this place? Bottom. Sort of? Not really? I will matter more later. It's the place that was always dark. Oh. You overestimate my memory when it comes to all these chambers. Yeah, good point. Have we been here? Anything? Yeah. Oh shit. Mind the eye. Mind the elephant. <laughs> I, I didn't recognize that pillar there was the. <laughs> Also, yeah, I don't walk into that until later, not even the silver shield is enough. And I do not yeah. want to rot well of that, so... Well, we have the... we have the woman statue. So at least that's a different thing we can do now. We can do it over here! Well, we might as well talk to multiple while we're here. Chamber of Virgils, eh? Muldrock thinks that's where the six children lived. They were born from clay, those people. They worshipped the very unique gods there. Shiva, the god of destruction. Vishnu, the god that sustains the world. Brahma, the god of creation and others. Shiva's wife, Parvati, has multiple personalities. And she is sometimes turned into the god of war. I think I got that. Reminds me of Hinduism. Well, yeah, did you notice the theme in the Chamber of Birth? <laughs> no, good point. The elephant is a sacred, is sacred, do not hate it. Because <laughs> I don't know that much about Hinduism. Fair enough. Good night. Uh, it's like 4 a.m. Good night. <laughs> it's not like she cares about you. Well, that was <laughs> a bit of a crash, wasn't it? It's not like we can really tell what time it is anyway. Yeah. Hmm. It used to be like a... Um, like a Sphinx there or something. Talisman. Not anymore. A charm that the professor's father always carried with him. Sounds like we should hmm. show it to some to some old man or something. Also, this Maybe. leads way over here. That's a lot of tablets. The first man drives in the corridor. The entrance to the never-ending corridor. The second man drives at the foot of the twins. At the tip of the feet that connect the two. The third man tries on the path leading outside, at the side of Hell's Gatekeeper. Recite the mantra correctly, let us say, see the Amad, Bahomet, Palenque, the Bahamut, Elman, Sakit, and Dalfis Lema. The dragons. Yeah. Now you know the names of all of the bosses. <laughs> In opposite order, too. 
fun. Yeah, still three more of those. The foreman drives inside the giant. She who stands in the land of Inferno. The fifth man drives below the goddess. At the foot of the goddess, staring at her collapsed tower. The seventh man drives by the spike. And top the five mysterious floors. The last man drives is the sign of courage. Let's be mad later. For now, it was actually here where I wanted to go. But this looks different, doesn't it? Just a little bit, yeah. It's a little trippy. You could say so. You're in trouble there. Kinda. Just give it a moment. I can always use the base. That animation amuses me. <laughs> I have no idea what you're trying to do there. Alright, forgot about that. As well. Oh, there it is. Paternity statue. Don't think about it too much. No, mother sleeps with the man. I mean, woman sleeps with the man. Nantos likes are looking a bit more effort, aren't they? Those what? Those lights. They're looking a bit more awkward now, aren't they? Uh... Eh? We just turned the woman statue into a maternity statue. Huh. Yeah, it's uh... <laughs> kinda silly. Or let's face it, I guess. Listen, I'm not, I don't think too hard about it. Yep, either way. We have a use for this. Right here. And now the man sleeps within the woman. Like this. Really rad. Yes, really. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> game mechanic, okay. You really need to read those tablets. <laughs> so, we have the Philosopher's Ocarina, finally. After it being hinted for how long. I remember some of the locations. Actually, one of them wasn't the Temple of Moonlight. Oh well, I'll check on that later. No, it's just here. So if I remember correctly, now they should be awake. I commend you for reaching me, chosen one. My name is Gildorillo, one of the four philosophers. I am the philosopher of knowledge. The mother failed time and time again. The first children could not see for what the mother truly longed, wanting only her powers. The second children were destroyed in the civil war of the giants. The third children were only interested in their own powers. The fourth children were a race of men in the form of fish. The fifth children sought the secret of life and death, once again begetting a power-hungry race. The sixth children were doors of clay made by the fifth children. Alas, too many were made. Igniting a war that extended all the way to the surface. After some time, we, the seven children, were born of the earth. We came to know these ruins through and through, ultimately realizing that we would not be able to grant the mother's wish. 
Thus, we gave no memory of the mother to G, the eight children. We believed on that only those who perceived the mother as ruins could defeat her. The mother's flesh spans the whole of these ruins. It is considered impossible to defeat her. You must attack her soul. Summon the mother's soul here and force her to take shape. The technique has been laid out for you. It is a hidden technique that we, the seven children, created. I shall tell thee how it is done. Drive eight wedges into the mother's body. Take the jet pillar and the Magata Maji world in hand and recite the mantra. The mantra has been inscribed upon the markers. Drive the wedges from the hills. Prince Rin. Please, chosen one, our wish is to set the mother free. Well, that's one of them. That's the only got pretty serious, didn't they? I got weird. That's a word for it. So, yeah, we've been inside the quote unquote mother for uh, all this time. Yeah, there's. I need to actually go through the Temple of Sunday. Same difference. Hey, you got anything more to say, Mordra? That ocarina you have, actually, isn't that the philosopher's ocarina? Uh, the philosophers are finally awake. My role here might soon come to an end. Does she show up in the, in the second game? Wait, what? Oh, sexual horseshoes. <laughs> okay. Interesting, Mulbrook. <laughs> please, please tell me she shows up in the next game. No comment. Yeah, she does. Okay. She's easily the most entertaining thing I've seen in, in all of our gameplay so far. Yeah, probably. been there in a while because it's really annoying to get there because we can't attack. Yeah, like that. Listen, you just turned on pacifist mode. Hmm. I commend you for reaching me, chosen one. I am Al Sedana, one of the four philosophers. I am the philosopher of death. I will reveal to you one of the mysteries of these ruins. We have long slumbered to grant the Mother's wish. The Mother descended to this land from the sky. We do not know from where exactly she came. The Mother wished to return home. The Mother had lost her ability to move, and so gave birth to many children. This is the origin of humanity. Mankind was born to return the Mother to the skies. They gained knowledge in the ruins, departed to the world outside, and search for the means to take her back while themselves striving. Yes, these ruins are the mother herself. I guess you were supposed to talk to this guy first because he was right next to the mm. Ocarina. Maybe. It is impossible to send the mother home to the skies. If her wish cannot be granted, the best we can do is to give her eternal sleep. Third. Right. Now for the third and last of the ones we have actually seen so far. I hate those things. Well, here it is. I commend you for reaching me, chosen one. My name is Samaranta, one of the four philosophers. 
I am the philosopher of power. The mother soul sleeps within the shrine of the mother. That is where the last ank lies. The last red light will reveal its true form. You who have traveled through these ruins, your strength will put the mother to rest. We the four philosophers have been blocking three paths. My path has been opened. Seek Phobos and Gildorillo for the other paths. Okay. Which means two of the three paths have now been opened. You can see one of them right now. Hmm. It is the path to the hardest puzzle in the game. What fun! Oh, oh, oh lord. Remember all those tablets about the colors and the gems and the weights and stuff? Those who seek power prove thy knowledge. If thy spirit is balanced and just, the power shall be granted. Alright, time to look the exact solution for this. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. So I didn't really show it in the... when we were in the mausoleum of the giants, but there's an area you can only reach with double jump that basically you step on it and it gives you numbers. That's your own way to. Huh. And you're supposed to use that in combination with the rest to calculate the percentages you need to place on each side. Hey then. Yeah, like, you actually have to do math to properly solve this puzzle. On the Ew. left side... Yeah. Flail Whip! Anyway, while we're here, I did need to... try and remember which exit was the one that led... Um... So yes, this is the strongest weapon. Hmm. I, I think the axe technically does like one more damage. But this one's so much faster. Alright, what was actually oh, about the top? Could I get to it from here? No, I could. Oh, I can go from there. Okay, that's that. I was about to have to teleport. Sadly, I don't exactly remember where each of the exes went, but they're not that hard to get to. Not anymore. I thought we had already been here. We probably died after. Oh, yes, we did die after getting here. There's the holy tablet. Not like we can get to it yet. We might as well do what we can while we're here. Oh, speaking of which. Map. Caught him there. Yep. Can't do that one yet. Women cultivate lives. Men put their lives on the line to their woman. Beyond the mining courses are walking the woods. You know, many courses like that pit trap we had to go through. <laughs> Prepare for death. Woman shall not yield to he who flees. 
overcome with courage and wisdom. Mostly just wisdom. The wisdom of already knowing ahead of time and which where to press. No, oh, well, minor details, right? Yeah, potato, potato. we can do here yet. Not until we get that skull. So back to the tower. Actually we have yet to actually show this to him. Especially since you can't get his emails anymore. Yeah. That talisman, you belong to your father. Your father went in them ruins and has him and then come back since. Seems like he was researching something deep inside. You should look for your father's diary. I'm sure he had it with him. There might be things about what he has was studying or written in it. What? You saw a guy in the ruins that looked like your father? That's crazy. It's been many days since he went in. Yeah, I thought he was telling us we need to look for the diary. No big deal. Well, let's try a different exit. How about this one? This is so nice. I actually think it might do more damage than... Oh, here we are. Remember the thing about destroying all of them at the same time? Huh. Just go recharge the lamp of time. We could come in handy. So, yeah, I hope you'll have fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Later!